Hello guys and welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about um, four key things you can do. Okay, I've um, you know on um, on the various groups on my channel, some students have scored below 200, and you know you're quite disappointed. You see yourself as a failure and all that. What are the things you can do? You can see maximize your score. Okay. So I'm going to be sharing four things you can do in this video. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Also share this video in every of your groups, okay? In, uh, you know, just to encourage people. And, um, you know, you, we have the DTW Tutorials um, apps for Jam, Y, BCI, and uh, NCE. You can also talk to people about it, okay? And, um, you know, there are summary notes and study guides on the on the DTW tutorials website. And you can also join our Facebook group. I'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video. So what are the things you can do? Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to tell yourself you are not a failure. Okay, because that's where it starts. When your men when that depression and disappointing thoughts keeps on bombarding you. It cripples you. It doesn't make you see other opportunities, but there are opportunities for you to still get into school. Okay? Or uh, maybe you, I know, I know it's quite difficult. Even your parents, people around you might say, ah, dollar at you, and uh, this, that, and you know, speak all several things. But you, you have to speak to yourself. I am not a failure. You just didn't get it um, right this time. Okay? I also took jam. Two times, that was 16 years ago. I took it two times. The first time I felt so bad. Thank God I had people around me that encouraged me. <laughs> you get my point. It wasn't, I wasn't that family that would just, you know, beat down on you and all that. Someone, at least I was encouraged. Okay. So, but you, if you don't have anyone to encourage you, please, I'm encouraging you now. This is an encouragement. You are not a failure. You can still get it. You just, you just didn't. Um, this wasn't um, the right way. You know, like um, Thomas Edison, when he was trying to invent, invent the bot, really helped me that uh, point in time. was well, someone who told me about the inventor, Thomas Edison, who tried to make the bulb light work for 999 times. And each time he was asked when he failed, he said he, he has learned a way not to do it, that it won't, uh, that were, that won't make it work. So he has cancelled out, oh, I did this, this is wrong. Okay, it means I shouldn't do this again. It means I should have a better better process. Are you getting, are you, are you actually getting my point? So don't give up. You are not a failure. You just found, you just, uh, you just know that, oh, there was some things I didn't do. Maybe I didn't study enough well. I didn't uh, put on, put much effort or I was distracted. I was also preparing for WIAC and all that and with JAM and all that. So, please, you are not a failure. That's the first thing. Okay, so, so I have to emphasize that because there are self-defeating thoughts that can cripple you. And it can start from now and cripple you all the way in your life. So you are not, never, once something doesn't work, you move on. Oh, oh, check your mistake. You can beat yourself. Yes, you can beat yourself about it for maybe 24 hours a day and immediately pick yourself up. Okay, and sit down also and tell yourself, what did you do? Why didn't this thing work? Okay, it was because I did this. This were my inputs. That's why my output was this way. So you have to now change the variables now. Your inputs are variables that can be changed. They are not permanent. They can be controlled by you. You have, you have all power to control those variables. Now I'm talking mathematically now. Okay, so that's how you check. Check your inputs change it and your output will be different it can never be the same it's except you keep on it's the same input that you keep on um, you know putting in and it's the same result you keep on getting are you getting my point so please you are not a failure okay now the second thing you can do is you can still gain admission into school now if you scored uh 180 Let's say 180, at least math. I know that some universities, I know some most federal universities, their cutoff is 200. Okay, so you might not be able to really apply because you got below 200. But some other universities, some state universities, their cutoff is 180. 
So you can apply to those um, universities. And, and you know that there are some courses that you can't get with 180. Okay, if you just still, you still, you don't want to sit at home, you just still want to go to school, you can do something related to the first course you desire. Let's say you desire to, to study maybe chemistry, BSc in chemistry, you can go for uh, BSc in chemistry education with your score and you might have good chances of gaining admission with that score and when you write your post QME well. If you have also good grades in your YEC, you know, there's a video I've done how to calculate your post-UME scores, the aggregate scores and all that. I'll leave the link to that video. Or you can just search on it, search on um, my channel, you'll see it. Okay? For Polytechnic also, the cutoff is 150. So you can, it's of you staying home, maximize that score. Apply to some Polytechnics. Okay, do your change of course form when it comes out. Don't worry, when it comes out, I will inform you on the DTW Tutorials YouTube channel. So please stay subscribed. You can also apply to colleges of education. If you love education, you can apply there. Nursing schools, you can also apply. There are several nursing schools that the jam, yes, yeah, some of them do use jam forms, uh, jam score, and maybe from uh, 180, at least 180, you should be able to apply. Some of them don't, some of them is just YEC. Then there are health colleges that are just YEC. So in your state, wherever state you are, you can search for all these things. That's why you have a phone and an Android phone. You are on the line online. You can search for colleges of education, nursing schools in, in your in your vicinity there, health colleges in your vicinity, and their requirements. Go and visit the school. You can go there, visit the school, and go to the admission office. Ask for the admission office. Go there and they will tell you the requirements. That's all. Okay, don't be scared. Go. Okay. Now, the third thing you can do is, there are other alternatives. Yes, these alternatives are quite expensive, but if your parents can afford it, fine and good. And make sure these alternatives are not, is even harder than JAM. So make sure you are prepared for it. A-level program is harder than JAM. So when you do all these foundation program, DuPair programs, okay, I forgot to put IJMB, it takes you nearly to 200 level. All right, but it's expensive and it's also tough. So be ready to read. There's all there are also affiliated degree programs. Uh, from let's say Yabate can be affiliated to some a school. I think they're affiliated to UNN. They do some affiliated programs there, which their jam score is quite low. So you can search all this online, or you can better still go to now National Open University. It doesn't even require jam, just your O levels, five credits, but it's also quite expensive. These programs are expensive and your parents should be able to afford it, or you, you can work and save for it. There's also a program in Unilag, which I know of sandwich program is just for education. Okay, which they give you the BSc itself in edu chemistry, education, maths, education, and all that. You do the five complete years, but it is part-time. Are you getting my point? So you can search for all this online and get the details, go to the school, Go to your admission office, get the requirements, okay? Now, the final thing you can do is if, let's say, there, there wasn't any way for you to gain any admission here or you don't want that course, you want a specific course, it's medicine you want, it's engineering you want. That was my own passion. So I wanted engineering and I said, I will sit at home. I don't mind to read again. So what you do is, I remember that year, I sat at home. I started reading from September. Ah, I said, like, like, hey, hey. I started preparing. I changed my strategy. So if all this doesn't work, you don't have money for this. You want your major course. Then you have to plan, sit down now and plan and start reading and preparing for next year jam. Don't wait till December. Mm -mm. No, I won't advise you. Don't wait to start now. Have a plan. Okay, I want to, um, I still have some books. You, you have to sit down and plan your life the span of how many months you have. Okay, I can be working, I can be learning a skill. If I don't want to work, I want to stay home, I will learn a skill, so, so, so amount of hours in a day. Then I start reading particular day. You know, start reading, then give yourself a target. I want to cover my syllabus. By December, I should have covered my jam syllabus. So that by January, February, March, I am just practicing. Practicing like, like, like nothing else. 
using the DT, please, in your practice, use the DTW Tutorials app. You can get everything in the video description box, the links to download it on Play Store. You can get those in the video description box of this video. So these are the things that you can do. I don't want this video to be quite long. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. So first thing, you are not a failure. You are destined to win. It is it's not, this doesn't define your life. Ha, there's still a lot of things to do in life. <laughs> And none of those things, no jam doesn't define it at all. It's just a stage that you will pass in Jesus' name. So you are destined to win and see you in our next video. I'll be giving several other videos to also, you know, educate you while, and there are several videos that would also help you in studying, preparing for your post and all that. Okay. And, um, you know, I will do other several, you know, videos to help. I know there's some things I want to talk about. I don't want to start talking them, saying them now. So this video is not too long. So you are destined to win. Don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ. For he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. Okay, all power is in him. All glory, honor, adoration, blessing, wisdom. He is in him. Okay, and just come to him and all will be well. All right, take care and see you in our next video.